From the most impressive Texas longhorn in the record books to a crazy looking lizard, here are 10 animals with the biggest and deadliest horns. Number 10. Asian Water Buffalo The Asian Water Buffalo is one of the biggest animals in the world, and they just so happen to have the biggest horns on average of any animal. This is according to the Guinness World Records, who claim the Asian Water Buffalo from India, Nepal, Thailand and Bhutan has horns on average stretching 3 feet and 3 inches. However, Guinness World Records claims that there was a bull shot in the year 1955 which had horns that measured 13 feet and 10 inches from one tip to the other. That's a monstrous set of horns. As for the Asian water buffalo itself, it spends most of its day wallowing in the mud, especially in the summer seasons. In fact, it uses its massive horns to shovel mud onto itself, kind of like how an elephant uses its trunk to give itself a bath. If there is no mud around, you won't find an Asian water buffalo. What's really interesting about these animals is that they used to migrate seasonally around 124 miles. However, none of the remaining populations undertakes such a dramatic migration anymore. Because of lack of habitat, most water buffalo hang around in the same areas all year long, basking in mud or hiding in tall grass. Number 9. Markor The Markor is one of the coolest goats you've never heard of. This unique species is the largest type of wild goat in the world, with massive spiral horns that can grow upwards of 5 feet long. If you've ever seen a goat with impressive horns, you've probably seen a Markor. They typically live in herds of between 30 and 100 females, with lone males coming to hang out during the fall mating season with hopes of getting lucky. What's truly interesting about these goats is that their name is a Persian word that means snake killer. Many historians believe this title likely refers to either how their spiral horns kind of look like ugly snakes, or how the giant goat kills snakes really easily by crushing them with its giant hooves. But what do these goats use their huge horns for? Well, they basically use them like we use our arms. They use their horns for digging in the soil, for ripping bark off trees, for fighting with other goats, and of course for attracting lady goats. Lady Markor goats typically mate with whichever goat has the biggest horns. Plus, their horns help work like an integrated radiator, since they are actually an extension of skin and there are blood vessels inside of the horns. The horns help to cool the goat when the weather is too hot. Number 8. Nubian Ibex out of all the animals on this list, the Nubian Ibex is undoubtedly my favourite. That's because of its incredible curved horns that look like they belong on the head of a demon, not on the head of an animal here on Earth. But besides just having the most amazing horns ever, which curve into a semicircle towards the beast's back, the Nubian Ibex also has some other very cool characteristics. Males grow long dark beards, which they use to mark their scent and to excite females during mating season. They literally use their little tufts of hair that grow on their chins to try and pick up chicks. The Nubian Ibex is also the only type of Ibex that lives in a desert setting. These animals live in the northeastern part of Africa and throughout Saudi Arabia. They spend almost all of their lives hanging out on the side of mountains, moving up and down sheer cliffs like four-legged cat burglars. This is actually a defense mechanism, since most large predators are unable to climb that type of rock face that the Ibex can. And as for just how big their demon horns can grow, a typical male Nubian Ibex can grow horns of up to 4 feet according to the San Diego Zoo. However, the Ibex itself is fairly small. They are a light sandy colour, and believe it or not, their only three predators are bearded vultures, eagles and leopards. However, these predators usually only pick on the smallest of the bunch, seeing as how trying to attack an adult Nubian Ibex with horns like the devil would almost certainly prove fatal to the attacker. Number 7. Black Buck the black buck comes from the family of antelopes, meaning it's related to things like gerenooks and gazelles. The most striking feature of the black buck is most certainly its spiralling horns, which stick straight up out of the adult male's skull. The longest horns ever seen on a black buck are estimated to have been just over 2 feet long. Like many other animals that have horns, only the males possess these immense weapons. The males are also highly territorial. They mark their territory by basically pooping on bushes to tell other black buck males to stay away. The territory can be as small as 20 acres, and within that small territory, a single black buck will reproduce with all the females to make as many young as possible. Another interesting fact is that the black buck is generally regarded to be as fast as any antelope. They also have incredible eyesight that helps them to avoid predators such as cheetahs. These animals live primarily in India, where their population has dropped from around 80,000 in 1947 to 25,000 today in specialised reserves. Some of their biggest threats are stray dogs, construction work and speeding cars. Number 6. Spiral Horned Antelope Spiral Horned Antelope are pretty cool. 
They're not quite as impressive as some other horned animals, but they're definitely bigger than most goats and have some pretty unique horns. What's truly fascinating about this animal's horns is that they are shaped like corkscrews. Plus, these antelope are massive, weighing up to 2,000 pounds. Their horns can grow to be roughly three feet in length, but the even cooler part is how they grow in a spiral formation. According to the San Diego Zoo, the spiral shape is because of something known as growth pulse. The horn material will grow quicker and thinner during certain times of the year, and the horn will grow slower and thicker during these times. It's known as a growth pulse, and it causes the horn to twist over itself as it grows. Most spiral-horned antelope live for up to 20 years, though there are a few different species. There's the greater cuda and lesser cuda, and the lesser known eland species. But each type of spiral-horned antelope still comes packing a big, twisting hood ornament right on its forehead. Besides just having cool horns, these antelope can survive for up to a month without a single drink of water, and a young, common eland antelope can jump over 10 feet in the air from a standing position. We really don't give creatures like this enough credit. Antelope are just incredible. Number 5. Jackson's Chameleon Let's take a break from bigger animals and check out the coolest reptile with the coolest horns. It's known as the Jackson's Chameleon, and it's a small animal less than 12 inches in length with three horns on it like a triceratops. It lives in the forests and mountains of Africa. It's not even a little bit endangered, and it's extremely easy to differentiate from a male from a female. This is because only the males have horns. They have three horns sticking straight out of their face, looking kind of like wrinkly pink fingers. The Jackson's Chameleon is sometimes known as the three-horned chameleon or the mini triceratops. But what on earth does such a small lizard need such big horns for? And why does it have three of them? Like most horns in the animal kingdom, they're used for fighting and defending territory. Just because the chameleon's only 12 inches long doesn't mean it's not allowed to have a territory of its own to protect. Two male chameleons will lock horns together in a brutal battle while they try to push the other chameleon from a tree branch. They may not have very large territories, but they will defend them to death. As you would expect from a chameleon, they spend their lives living in the branches. They are extremely colourful, they lick leaves to get their daily supply of water, and they give birth to live young. Most chameleons lay eggs, but not this one. The mother will carry the young inside her body, then abandon them immediately after birth. The young chameleons start hunting tiny insects basically the minute they are born into the world, with no help from the mother. Number 4. Texas Longhorn Bull They say everything is bigger in Texas, and when it comes to horns, this statement is 100% true. Texas Longhorn Bull has recently stolen the title for having the longest horns on a living bull. According to the official report from Guinness World Records, the bull's name is Cowboy Tough Chex, and his long horns measure an incredible 8.6 feet in length. He has some very handsome horns. In fact, because of his massive horns, he is now estimated to be worth half a million dollars. But even though he's a Texas Longhorn, Cowboy Tough Chex was not born in the state. He was actually bred and raised in Oklahoma, then later purchased and transported to the Fayetteville in 2017. However, transporting the animal proved to be difficult because of how big his horns were. Transport required a massive cattle trailer and a whole lot of patience. In the bull world, Cowboy Tough Chex is basically Brad Pitt. The list of those seeking a little bit of DNA for their own breeding purposes is a mile long. He is making his new owners a whole lot of money. Ranchers all over the world are wanting a miniature Cowboy Tough Chex for themselves. In fact, this bull is so popular that the ranch where he lives has started giving tours for curious visitors to see the biggest horns in the world for themselves. If you're wondering how exactly the value of a Texas Longhorn Bull is determined, it's all about horn length. The horn is measured from tip to tip, the total length of the horn, and the complete composite of the horn. These three variables add up to determine what any particular bull is worth. Number 3. Adax An Adax is a type of African antelope adapted for life in the brutal desert. They used to be found all throughout the Sahara Desert, but there are not very many of them left today because of poaching and the invention of the automobile. But still, some Adax can be found in the most rural regions, and they have some stunning horns. Their horns can grow to be just shy of four feet long, and in this case, males and females each grow horns. What's even more shocking is that according to Britannica, females can grow horns just as long as the males. However, females have smaller bodies and weigh less, and their horns are typically thinner. Still, this is one of those rare instances in nature where the males and females of the species both grow giant horns out of their heads. Unlike other type of antelope, the Adax is not very fast. This animal has short legs, which give it massive endurance, but a very low speed. They live in the deepest parts of the desert, surviving on nothing but desert grass and small shrubs. Number 2. Scimitar Oryx The scimitar-horned oryx is yet another type of antelope. 
If you thought there was only one type of antelope, you were sorely mistaken. The oryx is dramatically different from the adax like we just talked about. It has horns shaped like two twin scimitars, and some people believe it was the oryx that originally started the legend of the unicorn. They are currently extinct in the wild, but they once roamed the deserts of Africa from Morocco to Egypt. The only scimitar horned oryx around today are in captivity. The conservation scientists are hopeful they will be able to reintroduce these beautiful antelope back into the wild with programs starting in Tunisia, Chad and Niger. Number 1. Rhino Horn Just like how there are many different types of antelope, there are also many different types of rhinoceros and they all have very big horns. Even the smallest of the rhino species, the Sumatran rhinoceros, has a small stubby horn on its nose. The Sumatran rhinoceros is also one of the most elusive of the rhino species, with estimates saying there are only about 60 of them left living in Indonesia. But we're here to talk about horns, and the most impressive horned rhinoceros is definitely the white rhino, which comes complete with two giant horns on its snout. It has a front horn, which can grow to be almost 5 feet in length, and it has a secondary horn above that which is significantly smaller. As of 2013, it just so happens that the white rhinoceros, which is grey by the way and not white at all, is the most abundant rhino subspecies on our planet, with an estimated 20,400 southern white rhinos left. Unfortunately, the northern white rhinos are basically extinct, with only two captive females left on Earth, and a very low chance that one of them will give birth to a baby. But when it comes to talking about rhino horn, we can't omit the weird ways in which it has been used over the years. There are countless stories about poachers stealing rhino horn to be sold on the black market, not only for people to create expensive jewellery and ornaments, but also to be used in some seriously strange medicinal practices. Vietnam is often considered to be the biggest market for rhino horn, but China is up there as well. And supposedly, there are still people out there today who believe rhino horn can be used as an aphrodisiac to help a guy out in the bedroom. But this is of course ridiculous, and let me tell you why. Rhino horns are built primarily out of keratin, which is the same kind of protein found in your fingernails and in your hair. Using rhino horn as an aphrodisiac is like grinding up your fingernail shavings and turning them into a potion. Which horned animal is your favourite? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and come back soon for another amazing animal video.